To be a grinder on F50 requires a huge amount of power and you've got to be incredibly fit. It's like an engine on the boat. In this racing, it's a very uh, short time and very intense. We have to push all the time. These things are moving around at up to 50 knots. It's flat out the whole way around. You're giving all the energy to trim that massive wing sail that makes the boat go forward. A good grinder on these boats has to have big lungs, big heart, be powerful, you know, be able to make good decisions. The most important thing is the physical. Especially in the race, it's not only 15 minutes, but it's always the wind to keep the wind. And then the yacht is quite anxious, so we have to be prepared to go ahead. So first, the power of the yacht, and then the prepared state, and then the endurance of the yacht. The boat is moving around a lot. You've got the g-force at the turn of the boat. You've got to be agile, you've got to be strong. It's flying uh, through the water up to 100 kilometers an hour. You have to do attacking, driving, every maneuver in less than one minute. That whole time you're sitting there at nearly max heart rate, just pumping away. まずやっぱりジムでのトレーニングっていうのは重要ですね。かなりそのウエイトトレーニングで最大の筋力をつけたり、あとはそのグラインディングのマシンですね。そこを使って特にグラインダーに必要な持久力を見つけるということをやっています。The main training I focus on is a lot of actual grinding, so it's a lot of muscle memory and gets you ready for the races. I honestly I have the grinding machine in my house, so that's what I'm using for grinding for every day. A lot of kind of agility, trying to get used to moving and jumping around on one leg. The quicker you can get back into the cockpit, and get the better the boat's going to be. In a typical race, our heart rates are averaging sort of from 85 to 95 percent. The quicker you can lower the heart rates, the better you can do your job. If you can grind at the right times, you're going to be more efficient and save more power for when you need it. So that's the real key. And in that recovery time, that's huge to get a few breaths, calm the mind, calm the body, and be ready for that next big burst. Train harder than you race. That's what it takes to be comfortable on race day.